to the skies on September 28th, and they have not stopped since Hurricane Helene hit. Air operations have been critical. They've been vital, life-saving tools to rescue people from their flooded homes. WRL's Chelsea Donovan highlights a state agency that has performed hundreds of rescue missions. Chelsea. Yeah, you've all seen them. Of course, we've shown them here on WRAL. They are high drama rescue and operations that have been going strong. This team from NC Heart saving hundreds of lives since they deployed on September 28th. As you mentioned, they've been saving lives, but they've also been dropping crucial survival items. They are the images that tell a story, a story of second chances in the face of disaster. They flew that large uh, pattern, search patterns, looking for um, people that needed rescue. After Helene hit in the mountains, NC Heart aircraft and technicians went to work, first simply searching from above for those who needed help. During the beginning of the disaster, uh, communications were down widely across the mountains, which made it very difficult to know where exactly we needed to fly. Then the rescue started taking place one after another. We have had the most aggressive and robust aviation uh, response in North Carolina history with Helene. You're seeing video of aviation teams in action in Western North Carolina using choppers, part of NC Heart, a collaboration between the National Guard, Emergency Management, Highway Patrol, and local fire and EMS departments. As of today, there were 540 rescues by air. They also deployed what was known as opportunity drops during that search. These aviation teams have been performing rescues for the past two decades across the state. But this effort in Western North Carolina was unfounded, says Justin Graney with the North Carolina Department of Public Safety. After any disaster, aviation assets are priceless. Uh, roadways are damaged. Uh, communication systems are damaged. Um, the use of aviation allows us to get you know, critical commodities into areas that have been devastated by the storm. Now we should mention teams from NC Heart are still active in the mountains, but they're also ready to perform any other type of rescue operation across the state 365 days a year. Live in downtown Raleigh, Chelsea Donovan, WRL News.